Last night, Volcan Talika erupted a, a small phreatic eruption, explosions that threw rocks up to 800 meters away from uh, the crater of the volcano. And uh, these were 700 degrees centigrade, more or less, uh, these bombs. So they set fire to the vegetation and the places where they landed. And today we found uh, many spots where uh, it, the vegetation is burning from the eruption last night. And here we have one. Uh, of the bombs which hit. Here is the impact crater where it hit and it's just rolled out. But you can see this did not roll down the hillside. This literally came airborne down to this point, thudding into the ground. This rock is still pretty hot. This is an old rock that was already formed but was blocking a vent. It's been blown out of the volcano with incredible force. Um, so although the volcano at the moment is not in a state of eruption that involves uh, the magma, um, it is what's called a phreatic eruption. It is nonetheless a significant hazard because here, right here, we have some of the infrastructure of the community uh, that live up here. Here's another one. If you can move the camera this way. Here's another one. You can see it's still sitting in its impact crater, this one. This one's not quite as warm, but these are pretty big boulders. Eh, por acá podemos tener también otra, otra evidencia. Otra evidencia de lo que es la roca, esta roca todavía se mantiene con una presión muy caliente. Okay, so here we have another bomb um, which has come straight from the volcano this way and has just hit into the bottom of the wall here of the new uh, restaurant which is being built and uh, blasted a hole right through it and uh, broken the rock. The rock itself is, is still very, very warm inside. In fact, it's too hot, it's too, uh, hot to touch uh, right inside the rock there. You see we've just poured uh, cold water on this hot rock and it, it just demonstrates how much heat there still is inside the rock. So um, this has uh, definitely come out of the volcano very recently and according to Rene here um, the main explosion was about uh, 9.40 last night. There's another really really hot one here. I can't actually touch it. Let's just see what this does with water on it. So here we have an absolutely enormous impact crater of a bomb which fell last night here. The bomb itself has shattered into these tiny pieces which is still extremely hot and has rolled, the remains of it have rolled down the hillside here setting fire uh, to all this vegetation here. You can see all these burnt patches which are where fires have been started by broken bits that have come off an absolutely enormous bomb. We are 500 meters away from the crater of Talika here. So the size of this explosion last night you can see was, was just incredible. At the moment, I would say there's a very significant risk for tourists who are visiting the volcano because these rocks are, uh, are hitting uh, within the area where tourists have previously uh, walked and uh, gone to observe the volcano. And so for the moment, I would say to tourists that come, uh, keep a really, really safe distance. These bombs can travel a very long way. I've seen the evidence today and I would really want to warn anybody that's thinking of approaching the crater. It is very, very dangerous right now. The people who live close to the volcano at the moment are really worried about this. I, I went up yesterday morning and again this morning and between the two I noticed a very significant difference because last night uh, for the first time flaming rocks were landing uh, within uh, tens of meters of the houses where they live. Um, and this is a very significant hazard and this is uh, I think for them uh, quite an exceptional event. For geologists like me it's easy to say oh no this is normal, this is normal activity for a volcano because we understand that volcanoes need to release pressure and, and this kind of thing to us and everything that we can obtain from the instruments that are monitoring the volcano will appear uh, relatively normal, uh, not unusual behavior for a volcano of this type. But for people who live there, who, who've lived there for 40 years to say that they've never seen anything like this before and that they're really worried, I think there's something that we really have to pay attention to.